Celebrations will be muted in Tunisia today, 10 years after protesters ousted the country's autocratic leader. The coronavirus situation has recently worsened, with new restrictions coming into force. Now, optimism witnessed back in 2011 has given way to hopelessness, with one-third of the country's youth population currently unemployed. For more, we can go across to France 24's Chris Moore standing by in uh, Tunisia for us. Chris, 10 years on, due to Tunisians feel that the revolution has delivered. Well, 10 years is a chance uh, to reflect, isn't it? And this avenue behind me, Avenue Bourguiba, the centre of the world's attention, really, uh, a decade ago, as those protests successfully uh, chased out uh, an authoritarian leader with a little uh, pressure from the army in the end. What came next, of course, we uh, all know about, a domino effect throughout the region which led uh, to the Arab Spring. And uh, we all know how that ended up for uh, many other countries. As such, Tunisia is held up as a relative success story in terms of uh, a largely successful, albeit uh, at times bumpy, uh, transition to democracy. You talk to a, a lot of Tunisians, there's no regret, of course, uh, on that front. But as you said, uh, economic problems uh, remain uh, very real here. The iconic moment which kicked off Tunisia's revolution uh, was that of uh, Mohamed Bouazizi, an impoverished uh, vegetable salesman in the impoverished town of uh, Sidi Bouazizi, setting fire to himself uh, in protest uh, over economic conditions, over uh, treatment by the police. And uh, talk to most people here and they'll tell you there are plenty of other young men, young people, people in general in a similar situation to uh, Mohamed Bouazizi. And there remains a lot of anger, as you said, and a lot of frustration on that front. So no regrets over the symbolism of the revolution, over some of what it's achieved, uh, but uh, a lot of regrets over some of the things that it's failed to achieve. And Chris, you're, you're on one of the main avenues in the capital, yet it looks awfully quiet behind you. It is, Delano, yes. Uh, previous anniversaries have seen uh, martyrs uh, remembered and demands uh, for further change. As you can see uh, behind me, it's a bit of a desert out there today. Only the uh, odd journalist, uh, a lot of police and the odd passerby. The reason being that uh, new coronavirus restrictions have come uh, into force today. A uh, curfew moved forward from 8pm uh, to 4pm. Uh, People only allowed out for limited reasons before uh, that. That's a particular system in place for the next four days. Uh, some people we've been speaking to saying, well, of course, the government has to put the country's health first. Others uh, questioning the timing, of course. If you're not allowed out, it is harder to voice uh, your discontent. We talked to one activist yesterday, asked him about his plans, who said, well, when we are allowed out, we will once again uh, take to the streets. The run-in to this year's uh, anniversary has been characterised, particularly in those poorer cities, by a series of protests, uh, mainly over uh, economic conditions. And, of course, the uh, pandemic, of course, uh, only makes that economic situation even more perilous. Chris Moore, thank you very much for that. Chris Moore reporting there for us live from Tunis.